Hi, and welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. Um, I wanted to share something with you um, because I made it and I thought it kind of turned out cute. And I was trying to make a gnome to match this sign that my daughter painted, which I'm gonna be doing in an upcoming wreath. And I didn't want it to be quite as big as what they turn out on the Dollar Tree witch hat frame because I didn't want the wreath to be overwhelmed. So here's the gnome that I made to go with that sign. So I thought I'd show you guys how to make it. Now I'm gonna change up the design just a little bit. Um, what I use, guys, and everything pretty much came from Dollar Tree except for this is the Lupit Red Heart brand uh, yarn that I got this from Hobby Lobby and I got it in gray. It's a lighter gray um, than my other beard, but I think it would be fun to use the loopy yarn. And then um, I'm not sure where I found these um, balls. They're 1.9 inches. Uh, that's, I had a loose one laying here somewhere, but now I've lost it. Oh, here it is. So this is about the size for the nose that I used on my other one. But you can use these little cute um, tennis balls, table tennis um, balls that you can pick up in Dollar Tree. These would work perfectly too for a nose. And then the other thing that I picked up to use was this, this uh, 18 inch tree skirt and this came from Dollar Tree. And then I picked up a pack of the foot liners and these are from Dollar Tree. This is what I'm going to use to wrap the nose. You'll want one of these Halloween, um, I guess it's a Halloween pumpkin lantern, uh, uh, jack-o'-lantern with a hat, and you'll remove all of the tinsel off of this frame. So if you still have these around, grab you a couple, because these are actually uh, really good. You could do them, use these for your, um, uh, Oh, oh, I've lost my word again. Um, I'll, it'll come back to me. I'll just move on because it'll come back to me. Okay, and then pick up a couple of these. These are the microfiber duster mop pads, and this is from Dollar Tree. This is what I'm going to use to make the cuff of the hat um, that I made right here. I used that, and then I also used it to put the um, little pom-pom on the top of his hat. So just pick up a couple of these. They're so soft, they're so furry. Um, you could use these also for the beard if you don't have the loopy yarn, or if you don't have the loopy yarn, you can use just a, a mop head that you can get from Dollar Tree. So I do have one of these. Um, I also have some of the foam scatter from Dollar Tree. Everything pretty much, guys, uh, for this, this one is Dollar Tree. Uh, I've also got, you know, some of this uh, glitter drape that I get from Dollar Tree. I usually buy five or six packs of these at once because they come in so handy um, for everything. So I'm going to kind of jump right into this so we can go ahead and get started. Now, the first time that I made it, let me move these out of the way, clear a little bit of this away. I did cut down the frame because again, I didn't want him quite as big. I wanted him to fit on a wreath comfortably. So what I did was I took my Dollar Tree frame and I clipped off right up here on the very tip. I clipped off this part because I didn't want that extension on it. I wanted it to be more rounded off like this little guy is here without the big, you know, crooked part. And then I cut the nubs off of right here on this little piece that kind of goes up in a corner. And then I cut off right these last two sections. So I just cut right through here. Because again, I was trying to make him a little bit smaller. So you can just cut off this little piece of the frame and save it. Because if you were to make, um, and I still can't think of my word. If you were to make 
a uh, Topiary or oh, it'll come to me eventually. <laughs> this kind of comes in handy to give you a little extension to the end of this. This, so just hang on to that uh, for future use. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I didn't use this yarn last time, so I'm not 100% sure um, how long I'm going to need to make it. So let me go ahead and plug in my glue gun because I always forget to do that. What we're going to do is put on our beard first and then we're going to make his little hat and you may want to have of course have your glue gun uh, i've got some little rubber bands um, to use around the nose because what we'll do for the nose is simply just wrap this little nylon foot uh foot liner just put the little ball and these are 1.9 put them right inside of this and then just kind of wrap it up tight. And I try to kind of get that seam to where it's in the back so that the nose is nice and smooth. And then just grab a little rubber band and just rubber band that piece. And uh, Dollar Tree has the really cute little rubber bands too. They're real small. Uh, those are perfect. I just grabbed this one um, that I had in my drawer, but the uh, little rubber bands from Dollar Tree, uh, these little tiny ones, I use these a lot when I, uh, I'm making some of my petals in advance for Unique in the Creek. Uh, they're just the little tiny bands. These would work too. So I've kind of got his nose ready, so I'm going to set that aside. And then let's look at this yarn. And what I did on the one that I made here is I wrapped my yarn around this level let me go this direction this level right here and this level right here so these two rows right here now I didn't cut off any of the nubs because the nubs actually kind of um, helped and it came in handy so I want to see how big I think we'll need to cut these because you see this is a nice, pretty, loopy yarn. So in order to do his beard, let's do the bottom row first. And let me see about how long I want it to be. Probably about, let's make these strips about, let's go with 15 inches and see how that works. So just take this piece, the end that we're starting off with, and again, let's start right here on the bottom, and then just tie that first piece on. And of course, this loop of yarn, just, it, it just pulled just that quick. I wonder if we could do it like... Well, I can't, I can't think of another way to do it right offhand. Let me try it again. Got to go to the bottom and tie a knot. And I do have my glue gun going because I definitely know it may be the easiest just to glue this on. So let's see if it's gotten warm. Stab a little bit of glue right there. And of course it hasn't gotten warm yet. Um, let's see if that's going to be about long enough. That's going to be, that's about right. Now, what you could do to save some yarn is put your longer piece on the center and your shorter pieces on the side. Let's see what happens if we double it. Let's, let's make a longer piece. Let's go to about 30 inches. And then take these two ends, make our loop. I'm trying to remember how she did that. Take these two ends through, your open ends through, run it through the loop, and then pull it. It may be a little bit more difficult to do that because it's loopy yarn. Let 
Yeah, I think that's almost really difficult to do because it, the, the loopy yarn, it's harder to get it to pull through. And then, of course, it wants to get stuck. So mix that idea. We're going to have to just tie it and glue on each piece. Of course, now I've got it so tangled up in there, I can't figure out how to get it back out. This was on sale uh, at Hobby Lobby, which is what made me um, go ahead and decide to go ahead and buy some of it. So I guess I'm just going to have to cut it off because I can't figure out how to get it back out of here. Well, I got one part of it tied on. I think it's gotten tangled up with my other piece. Let me pause this video for a minute and figure out what the best length is, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've decided is I've cut four pieces at 13 inches, and the nubs right here, if you look in here, we have these nubs. There's one, two, three, there's four nubs right in that little gap. So what I'm gonna do is just put some hot glue on the nub and then just lay the loop over that nub and then just hold that right there, give it a little bit more glue and kind of use that nub to my advantage. So I'm going to put another little bit right here. Grab another 13 inch piece. Lay that right over the glue. Of course, I've got my glue fingers on. So I don't burn. So be very careful. I do have my hot glue on low temp. So I think 13 inches should be about right. And then again, just take the loop of the actual yarn. If you're using the loopy yarn, if you're using something else, uh, you may not have to do that. But I just thought since we have the loops and the pegs, why not just take that loop of yarn and loop it right around the peg? And that'll give us kind of a consistent distance as well. And then just tap a little bit more hot glue once you get it on the peg, a little glue on the peg. And then take your end of your loop of yarn and put that loop over the peg. Of course, it's a little trickier to do when you have your glue fingers on, but I definitely would say use your glue fingers and that's going to catch and it's not going to ravel because we haven't cut the loop all right so that's got the first four inside pieces right there and those are at 13 inches and then i've cut some pieces at 11 inches and i'm going to do the same thing I'm going to put glue right on the little nub, take the end of my loop, place it over the nub, and then add a little bit more hot glue. Now the nubs, we don't have any for the next row, so we'll have to come up with another way to attach that. All right, a little bit of glue right on the nub right here. And then just place the loop right over the nub. And then just a little bit more glue on top. And the same thing over here. We have these two nubs right here. Now they're not very anything all the way out here. So let's see how we can do that. So I have another 11 inch piece. 
and just by you know going down on the sides of the yarn that will give you that natural angle to the beard so I'm just going to put this loop over that piece I do like this loop of yarn this is going to be so cute <laughs> all right a little bit of glue on this nub and another 11 inch piece and then just lay it over the nub, pull it down, and a little bit more glue on top of the nub. All right, so there's the first layer of his beard. So if we look at this, I see another nub right out here. If, if you look, you can see there's a nub right here. Can you guys see where I'm pointing right here? It's kind of on the outside part. Let's go ahead and cut a 10 inch strip instead of 11 this time. Let's cut 10. So I just put it on my mat and I'm coming to the 10 and I'm cutting in between loops. I cut one more 10 inch piece. right in between the loops and I think about time for a new pair of scissors all right let's do this let's go ahead and on that piece of that nub add a little glue right there and then just slip this loop over that and then pull it down and put a little more glue right there. And then we have one more nub that's right right here. That's right here, right here on this very corner. And let's put this piece right over that loop or that little nub. And then just tap a little bit of glue on it. All right, so there's the first row. So let me pause and figure out the best way to do the next row. Be right back. Okay, so for the next row, what I've done is I cut my 15 inch strips, but this time I cut into the loop so I would have a string. So you just take your yarn, measure your 15 inches and then I cut it off and then I just took the loop that was right next to it and cut right in between it to give myself a piece to tie with. So I'm going to come up to the middle section right above it right here and just tie this right on with that piece of string or the piece of yarn and we'll take off the fingers to tie because I cannot tie with fingers on. <laughs> All right, so we'll tie it on and then after we get these tied on, then I can come back and put a little bit of hot glue. So since I want this to be very full, I'm going to try to squeeze uh, three to four pieces um, in this section, so four pieces of yarn in this section, four pieces of yarn in this section, and then when we get to these larger sections right here, cut your pieces at 13 inches. And then let's put one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try to get six or seven pieces um, down here. So 13 inch pieces. Um, tied on here, 15 inch pieces tied on in these two sections, and then seven here um, cut at 13. Um, and we'll come back and see how that looks. Okay, I think he looks nice and fluffy. His beard looks really good. Um, so just to recap,
uh, what we did. Now, after I put that those pieces of yarn up here, I did go in and tap each piece with hot glue. Um, I had enough left on the yarn to do four, three, it looks like I did four pieces in each of the small sections and four pieces in each of the large sections, and then I ran out of yarn, but it was more than enough yarn uh, to make a very full beard. So this was just using the one roll of the loopy yarn, and just to recap, the uh, first lower bar I did um, two 15 inch pieces per section and then I did three 11 inch pieces I did one two and then one kind of right here on this outer part and then up top again I tied um, flip it around this way for the top I tied four pieces in these two sections and then four pieces in these two sections the center ones were 15 inches and I ended up doing these four out here at 11 all right so the next step is to get his hat ready to put um, around our scarf so what I've done is taken my tree skirt and cut it in half and this is what we're going to wrap around to make his stocking cap. But before I do that, I want to just put a little bit more padding on this wire frame. So I've taken about a half a sheet of the um, glitter drape and then I folded it in thirds. And this will probably be way more than we need. And I'm just going to wrap it around the top of his hat. Uh, the top of this frame. So let's go ahead and flip this over and glue it to the frame. Just a little hot glue. Got myself stuck there. And it really won't take a lot of this. Just enough to kind of give it a little bit of padding. And I'm just going to glue that into place right there. And then just wrap it just a little bit just to give it a little bit more to hold on to so I'm just going to take this little piece and fold it over and then just wrap it up it doesn't have to be really pretty because this isn't going to show it's just to give it just a little bit of bulk uh, you could even leave the tinsel on if you wanted to for this step. Alright, and then I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off right here and glue that. And press it down. Okay, so that's making up the first part of the hat. All right, now while that's drying, I took my uh, mop head and I cut it in half. And you can pull apart this mop. If you look at the front, there is a little section right there where you see nothing but the material. This is where I cut. I cut straight down the center. And this first section is going to be what we're going to use for the the cuff of his hat to make it nice and fluffy because this little piece doesn't have a lot of that on there so this part we're just going to take it and wrap it and be sure when you're covering up your top leave this little part open where you can get to it because that's where we're going to put his little um, pom pom so now just take this part and just wrap it around the top Take your one half that you've cut off and just wrap it around. Not too, too tight, but you want to get it down where it's covering over the very part of his, you know, of his, of his uh, beard. So just barely to the edge of the beard. And then just glue this right onto the bunting that you just put down. I think it's more important to kind of get the top part of the hat tight. So 
that's kind of why I'm readjusting it just a little bit to get it tight at the top. And then just some hot glue on the back and just fold it over. And then I just have a little popsicle stick that I kind of tap stuff into place with. Because if you look at this one, um, I did about get it all the way around to the back. So, but you see it comes up on this part, but this part isn't going to show because that part was going to be up on my wreath. Okay, I just want to make sure I've got that nice and tight. And then this is what it should look like. You should have the beard and the hat and glue strings. And then we're just going to glue. If I can get up some of these glue webs, that would be awesome. But it's, they're going everywhere. All right, we're just going to glue this piece right here, just enough of it to wrap around to be able to glue it, and just tap your glue on, fold it over, and just kind of hold that there for a second. I also glued the hat to a little piece of this frame just to kind of keep that down. So I'm just going to hold those there for just a second. It's really not a hard project and it turns out so cute. And then we're just going to bring this piece, making sure I've got it wrapped around. You just want to make sure you have it down far enough so that you're not going to see any of the frame. I'm going to hold that right there. Just a second. And then all I did for the pom-pom, let me open up this package. I just took another piece and cut it. So let me just pick it right down the center again. Cut it right down the center where you see, just pull apart the fur. That's what I'm calling it, fur. I know it's a dust mop head, but it's fur for this project. And it's awesome for fur or for a beard. Uh, hey, it's a dollar, so how can you go wrong, right? If you mess it up, you just, you know, you just get another one. I probably won't need all of this for the pom-pom, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So I'll have another piece ready if I decide to do another gnome. Okay. Of course, you're going to get some fuzz. And then we're just going to cut a piece that's going to be big enough to tuck through this hole. And I'm just going to pull it through. And then you're going to want to glue it once you've got it pulled through. Sorry, trying to get the full piece pulled in there. There we go. So you'll want to glue it down to the front so you don't see any of the white. Just flip it over and cut a big enough piece that you can glue it to the back. And I just put the glue kind of right on the hem. And then just kind of tap it in place. And then, if you want to, you can even come in and seal it right here where you put, you know, you put the front and the back together. And then just 
just give it a little time to set. And there's your pom-pom. Okay, so now we have our hat, our pom-pom. All we have left to do is our nose and a little bit of decoration. So let me flip back over this guy. So I didn't glue this part down yet. So I'm just going to trim off some of this nylon that I didn't use and know that I've got it on here nice and tight. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of glue right around uh, where I put the rubber band. And while that dries a second, I just used a couple of these little snowflakes um, from this. Now, I added ribbon to make the stripes around the hat on this one. Um, that's something completely optional that you can do. Uh, I just added some snowflakes, but if you wanted to, you could add a star, a snowflake, a star. Uh, I just kind of like the little snowflakes, but you could decorate it with different little things up here. Or if you wanted to do the ribbon like I did, you can just do your ribbon. I just thought the ribbon looked kind of cute. Or just leave it plain. So let's put a couple of these up here. Uh, if you wanted to make it a buffalo check, you could add a buffalo check ribbon through here. Um, you know, just whatever it is that you want to you wanna do to make it. And I had one more. There it is. Okay. If it had been a snake, it would have bit me right in front of my face. Okay, so that's got the little snowflakes up there. I said all we have left to do now is we're just going to put this right inside his hat, just barely and glue it. I just put glue right on the ball and just make sure it's centered and just tuck it right there. And I don't think I glued down the rest of the hat. I just kind of glued it down right here around his nose. So if you wanted to tap, you know, just a little bit more glue uh, right around that nose. You could definitely do that. Like I said, if you wanted to make it a buffalo check or, uh, you know, it's really up to you. You could leave it exactly just like this or you could decorate it a little bit more. But here is our other gnome. I think he's turned out real, real cute. I do love this loopy yarn for the beard. Uh, I think it's so, so cute. So here are two different gnomes made in the same style. Um, all you've got to do is decide, you know, what you want to use for his beard, how long you want his beard to be. I mean, I probably made this beard way longer than I should have. Um, but when I now when I go to make my wreath, I'll have the option of either one of these. And again, you could use a mop head. Um, for this, just pull this. You might want to get two mop heads just to be sure you have a lot of fluff. But uh, that's it, guys. That's all there is to making a little gnome. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you when I actually make the wreath that I attach one of these gnomes to. So y'all have a great day. Thank you. Please subscribe.